Minas Tirith is under siege. The Dark Lord Sauron has unleashed his full might on the ravaged kingdom of Gondor, and it is here at the White City where the Hammerstroke will fall hardest. Under the leadership of the mighty wizard Gandalf, the warriors of Gondor held firm against the initial assault, with two victories for the forces of good in our first two episodes of the Minas Tirith campaign, but the tide has turned, and while the men of the city were distracted upon the walls, the Witch King of Angmar, Marshal of the Host of Mordor has shattered the weakest point in Minas Tirith's outer wall, the mighty front gate. The first true blow has been landed and Sauron has taken the upper hand. Today's battle report takes place in the streets of Tubertown, the first fully complete city block of our massive true scale Minas Tirith build and incorporates some amazing buildings from the incredible Fellowship of the Zorp collaboration last month. Today the forces of Gondor are in full retreat. The gate has fallen, the hordes of Mordor advance on all fronts and the only thing holding the Gondorian rearguard together and preventing a massacre is the might of the White Wizard. Gandalf and Imrahil must rally the Gondorian forces and gather all they can inside the second level where they can mount an effective defense. The outer level is lost, but if our very own Captain of Gondor, Ryan Trays, can draw enough strength within, he may be able to win the day. Okay, we lost the outer wall, uh, moving to the inner walls now, we've got Gandalf, he's going to be clutch in this um, scenario, and I've just got to save as many of my soldiers as I can. Commanding an absolute horde of orcs surging through the city streets is the Dark Lord of Zorpazorp himself, Lachlan Linton Keane. The orc horde is inside the streets of Minas Tirith. It is time to pillage the White City and catch those pesky Gondorians retreating while we're at it. The board is set, the pieces are moving, the great battle of our time is about to begin. The great battle. The orcs are pouring into the city, but there's a few holdouts, some sturdy Gondorians holding the line. We've got these beautiful retreating shield walls. They have got to get themselves up inside the second level. Rhino, you have got priority. I do. You gotta leg it, my son, because my orcs are speedy boys. They are fast and they are hungry for blood. Gandalf, you've got captains, you've got some great Gondorian nobles, you've got the mighty Prince Imrahil as well. It's time to get those boys nice and safe back inside the gatehouse. Take it away. Alright, well, movement phase really needs to kick off with a bit of Gandalf spelly shooty sort of action. So, Goroth is once again made it to the field and he is a pretty big threat down here because this is the reinforcement point and if he gets early break here, I'm gonna be up a certain creek. So, Let's hurt him with a bit of a Sorceress Blast. Oh, nice. I want to get a big five or six to really make sure. Oh, oh well, I've got to throw my will point at that. Yeah. Uh, there's get nothing I can do. Oh! <laughs> These new Gondor dice of mine, they are amazing. Very precious. Uh, so, resisted, and I banked it. I banked it because it was a six and banked two out of Gandalf's store. So Gandalf is now going to start marshalling the retreat. He's got to move first. Obviously, he's got that exceptionally high movement with Shadowfax, which will be useful, but he doesn't want to leave his troops too far behind. Three men could hold this whole bit. So I'll pop one in there, another one in. These are scrubs, these are eight point dudes. They're, they're, not, they're not particularly good. And another scrub can go in. Um, that's it, they're held up. Now I can run away with a little bit of ease. The Gondorian forces begin to execute a fantastic rearguard action in the central column, engaging the orc forces to pin them in place and withdrawing the bulk of their models. To secure victory today, the forces of good must successfully withdraw at least 18 of their number from their rearguard behind the second gate and destroy at least one enemy siege tower. The evil models must slay Gandalf and Imrahil any other result is a draw. In response, the orcs from the wall throw themselves against the Gondorian lines. A breakthrough on one of these flanks will be key to applying pressure to the primary Gondorian retreat. So my horde here has surged forward. Ryan shored up his defenses in front of the Beard Clippers barber and all around Benji's uh, beautiful Baruthiel Emporium, my orcs are pouring forth. We've got a beautiful battle of the captains there. Got a couple of orcs legging it through the courtyard to get to Gandalf who has bravely plunged forward. And boy oh boy is there a little uh, mental beatdown in the broadsword blacksmith, including our wonderful little blacksmith Ryan who's taking his anvil with him. Tell me about this. 
Uh, well, it's a heavy object. A super heavy, a super object. heavy object. <laughs> Two miniatures can move at three inches a turn, and we're going to get that anvil out of the blacksmith into the next level because we're going to need that capability. You yeah, know? you got to you got to sharpen swords. Seat. I love it. I love it. Ryan found out that the object was movable and decided to take it with him. Uh, we've got a beautiful little withdrawal, and oh my goodness, this was a clever play. All my guys are trapped. I'm going to have to bust that wide open. But first, it is shooting time. And there is a horde of archers up here ready to rain down some pain. Ryan, there's eight shots on the wall, and then an additional three here on this balcony. Defense four closest to me. So I've only scored zero hits. Ooh. All right, well. Rough start. The the dark knights uh, messed us up a little bit there. Three there, and just going in on the same targets. Yep. Uh, I've got no hits again because of the knight. Another little archery battalion along the inner battlement, and they're going to start picking off We're these guys. We're going to go to the defense six Morans there. So let's um, let's seven dice and one, two hits, two hits. Now plus one to wound. This is the clutch. Yeah. So harder to dodge arrows in the dark. Fives. Nothing again. Oh, unlucky. Very unlucky indeed. But there is one big final moment, of course. The trebuchet needs to start putting some pain down on these siege towers. So, as always, it is a big flat four to hit. A two! Another two! You're Another kidding two. me! This trebuchet needs tuning, man. What are these guys doing? Alright, let's jump into the combat phase, and this is where we get to go punch. Uh, I have got a heroic combat from Goroth down here in the alleyway. He has got to do some work, so he's going to try and punch through. And Zagdush as well, here in the blacksmith. I'm burning my might early. Uh, anything from Gandalf? Um, no, no, no. He's just, he's just going to play the might conservative game. As much as I want to stomp face, I just want to be conservative with his might. So Zagdush up first with one friend is going to town with his strength value buffed as per his special rules. Six with the shielding. Oh, Ryan, you beast! Stop I that. think I'm out of range of the banner as well. So I am sitting on fives, but my five is not on Zagdush's dice, so I am not burning ah. an additional two might. So well done, you've choked me of a might point there. Goroth's heroic combat next, and we, he's got... You got bulk support. Oh my god, so many friends, so many friends. The three normal orcs first, and they're on fives, and then Goroth brings in another two dice to take it to fives. Can I do it again? Oh, these dice probably could. But I've got a banner behind me. You so... do, the Dolanroth banner pushed forward no. most riskily, and I think the Dolanroth banner is going to pay for it, my friends. All right, Goroth! Absolutely it, eviscerates him, Good and kill. now it's time for a counter charge. So heroics over, Ryan. Uh, it is time for you to decide where we're going, Mr. Priority Lord. Do you want to start on the blacksmith and knock that little microcosm off? Yeah, let's do that. Let's knock that out. I'm actually going to go out you here. It's so just one on one, isn't it? Yeah, I've just got a one, one poor little orc. And I have a five. Get a six to get no, over that. All yours. My banner's out of range. Six? No. No. Heavy armor doing the heavy well armor. there. Yeah, Should we move to Gandhi? Um, yeah, I'm excited for this one. So I charge, so I've got a three three attacks, superior fight, banner behind me. I'm pretty happy with this. This is going to be fierce. I am going strong though. Get a six. Oh, oh you did. Banner. Yes, you got your banner behind you. Oh, I need quick kills here. Because there's only, they, they can't be reinforced. The tower is destroyed. So once these guys die, they're not going to be replaced, so it's... Yeah, the center region is going to be difficult for me to get troops back in, so this is probably a worthwhile spend here, because I'll have to come all the way back to this tower, this tower, or of course the roadway. All right, so spending the might, Ryan? I'm spending it, yeah, yeah. and I can't afford him getting dehorsed either. Yep. Yeah, oh, that's true. I would totally slice out Shadowfax, yeah. Right, four up will do him. And nice. I've yep, done it. And now the shield boy? Now I need a five with these ones. Oh, Got Gandalf! It. Got it. There Good we go. start from the white Savior city. Saviour of the white city, indeed. Alright, well that is our kind of little blocked out region over here. In the left flank, this is where it's getting gnarly. We've got Captain on Captain action with our two uh, Patreon model donating supporters. We've got Jell Rombouts, the Orc Captain, and Chris, our Gondor Captain there. They're facing off and then there's some Gondor and Mordor troops as well. Let's do the Captain battle first, or do you want to start with the troops? Let's savour it. Let's savour the Captain Love battle. It. Uh, so, 2v2. 2v2, you got a 200 weapon too. Uh, I will minus one and Spearman. Oh, oh, it's a drawn combat. Spearman doing well. Uh, you can you can roll it off. And good, take it. Goes to All you. Right. Get a five up, good. 
No. No wounds. So That's just, okay. Just backing away from my two-handed spears. I'll just respawn anyway. But you've got Moranans this time. Yeah, so strength four is going to do it for... Oh, oh Banner. Come, come on, Banner. On. No. Yes. Uh, I'll take my wounding sir. dice. Hey! Do it. Every kill matters so much so for the wild. forces of Mordor. That is that is good. Now it's captain time. You've also got fighting over barrier here, so you got that oh, and the wow. barrier. Yeah. I've got a horde here. All right, I've got my captain and spear support. We'll start with them. Uh, I'm on fives, and then Captain Chris. Captain Chris and friend. I'll use my extra two from the other two warriors. It's still tied. It's still tied. I'll use my banner. Maybe get the six. Don't get the six. Okay, it is drawn. Oh, oh, that was the one to win. That was the one. Captain Chris, you had a great game last round, but your time might have come. Gel Rombats or Captain puts on a wound. and You've got to do it. The th well, let's see what the Warriors do first. Oh, yeah. Uh, no wounds from the Warriors. I well, am going they to... They to hit over the barrier. Oh, that's true. But that doesn't matter. That's fine. They anyway. miss anyway. So, yeah. um, <laughs> I'm going to spend it. I'm going to spend it. Spending... You're going to have to spend two. Oh, He's yeah, defense seven. Defense seven. Oh. I'm going to channel my inner orc captain here, and I'm going to spend both points of might, ruining my might on this flank, but killing the Gondor captain is worth it. You have one fate point to save Captain Chris. And i got two might. So if this is a two or a three, it goes up. Any day of the week. So if I roll a one, she's cooked. Big Ryan one right here. Big Ryan one. Here we go. Oh, no, five. We're good. Five. Okay, we're good. No might spend. But that's okay. We chipped away some resources and we have savaged that flank nicely. They're desperately regretting not painting this particular undersection of the green and white foam, but it's fine. There's two combats left to go. It is four on one in each instance. Yes. Absolutely savage here. Shielding up and... for the win. Get Don't a six. You dare. Got You're a six. joking. Got I've got no banner. Uh, with... I'm going to have to back off though. Yep. Uh, exact same thing again on the right flank. I need these flanks cleared. Oh, God. Not even going to use the banner. Not even going to use Gondor. the banner. Gondor. All right. Goroth is going to show them the way. He is fighting a bannerman with one support. I've got a one. Uh, I'm only on four, so you can banner yourself, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, no. no luck there. All right. Goroth's oh. going to put him down with yeah. ease. Uh, banner oh. is gone. Wow, that is a real pain in the ass. Luckily, if I get priority, I can clear some space. Not today. Oh, not again. Not All today. Right. This Gondor priority is absolutely fierce. So Ryan nabbing priority means I have got to heroic move. Goroth is down here in this little alleyway. And suddenly, the Gondorians don't seem so far away. With Goroth plowing forwards with three orcs and pinning several noblemen in place, the Gondorian forces were forced to engage or risk leaving their brethren to die. So Ryan made a brave counter charge with Imrahil and dived in headlong on the flanks, hoping to hold the enemy at bay long enough for the prince to cut his way free. Let's leave the iron behind. No! I have to. Don't leave the anvil! I have to. Alright, so Gandalf. A couple of inches to there. Let's throw a sorcerer's blast again. I'm going to burn the two will and a free one. It's got to go. Can't resist that. Big five. No resist there. So I am knocked. How far, Ryan? D6 inches? One, but oh. that'll do. One, <laughs> one is enough. It knocks the guy down. The initial Boop. victim. Boop. And then they will fall down the stairs as well, which is all we need. The victim that I hit initially doesn't die. That's okay. What about the guy he hits? He doesn't die either, but both will take a fall damage. They so. will. They'll take an additional th probably two strength three hits each all the way down the stairs. It's a slippery stairwell there. The armed one will need a six. Doesn't get it. The unarmed one will need a five. Does get it. There we go. So, so we killed one orc, and more importantly, you cleared the stairwell, bought yourself some time. Where's Gandalf going now? Gandalf will be going into... Oh, he wants the anvil. He knows how important it is. The blacksmith must be saved. He's going into your hero over this side. Oh, Goroth's gonna, in trouble there. I'm changing the momentum. Over here, we uh, have been engaged. I've got my normal move now. My guys can pretty much just move up and get those spear supports in position. Uh, over this side, everyone's been engaged down on the front line, so it's just orcs moving up. My banner is going to get to be in position now, so I can support those fights. We'll plonk him down there for now. And then most importantly of all, I took two casualties, which means I have two reinforcements, Ryan. Three casualties now. Oh, three. Yeah, that's true. You just spice someone. So, I get to roll a dice for each of them. On a one, they don't come back. On a two or a three, they come in either of the towers. On a four or a five, they come down here chasing the Gondorians up the street. And on a very lucky six, some orc infiltrators get to come up onto the higher level and flank in behind. So, can you roll three dice for me, Ryan? 
Oh, no, I rolled a one. Uh, okay. okay, well, one comes back later. I've got one down here, and then I've got just the one on the walls. Cheeky ones that are on the uh, the crates down there, and I have scored once again no hits. Oh man, it is dark. It is dark. So You've got uh, Damrod and his little crew up in the top there. Uh, yep, they all hit. Nice. <laughs> and now they need fours to kill that guy, and they do. Thunk. And then the big one, Mr. Trebuchet. Yes. Three, so an improvement, an improvement. They're getting closer. Still. That must be like two hits out of something like 11 shots yeah. over the last two games. All right, let's jump into combat. We have, of course, got some big players on the field now. Clubby the Troll has arrived, and the Orcs are getting a full-on serious engagement. Combat with Imrahil. Here he goes, and it'll cost him might this time, unlike last game. Mm. So Zagdush will absolutely call a second combat and hopefully succeed. Goroth is gonna s Goroth is gonna strike to try and take out Gandalf. Are you gonna strike back? Yeah, have to. Yep, gotta do it. Alright. Well, we'll start with the combats. Show us a roll-off. Four up, please. No, Ooh. yours. Alright, so Zagdush and two orcs. Zagdush is improving his strength and decreasing his defense with his special wool, and I've got the big sixes. Yep, the fight value will do the work. Ryan will back him away. And boy, I do not need a lot here. And that'll oh. do it. Uh, Zagdush is going to make a clean run after this guy engages his control zone. And what was his name? What's the blacksmith's name? Griswold. Griswold. I'm coming Griswold. for you, Griswold. I want that shiny anvil. You're not taking it with you. Uh, and now it's off to Imrahil down here. And he's fighting. Is that two, two. with friends? Yeah, I'm going to stab with the front orc. I'm on sixes. Imrahil. That's a five from Imrahil. Banner gets to that. His friends, do they cough up a six? Ooh, might points. Oh. That's not good. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go hard and then go home. So I'm just gonna burn them. Spend mic. it, spend it. Good work, um, Orcs. You did your job. They did well. They will now die, but that is okay. Uh, Imrahil. Rinse him. Kills it. Yep, down he All goes. Right, so he's right. done. Where's Imrahil gonna move to? Imrahil can be the semi suicidal one. And then the support act can go into that fella. You've picked up my support with Imrahil, so it's three Gondorians on one orc. Do I shield? Of course not. What kind of mortal orc would oh, shield? Oh, wow. That was heinous. Whoa! Let's get a banner into that. No, yes! the banner doesn't help. Look at this little green-skinned orc. He's ready for pain. I'm going to go for the big fancy nobleman there. No wounds. Oops. But uh, not dying was impressive enough, frankly. Imrahil, um, let's chop up that support. Let's get right. rid of him. He stabbed last time. Oh, he forgot to take his get stabbing four, damage, sorry. actually. Oh, that's all right. Big six. Four will kill him. And he doesn't get a four. Oh, Imrahil. You used all his luck oh, last game, I think. Yeah. Let's see if the stab killed him from the combat before. Nope. Griswold, he's getting dumped on. Yeah, Griswold's so... getting dumped. Let's do it. We'll start with Zagidush. He's on fives. Oh, a big six for Griswold. I'll need my extra orcs. He's you got, got spear support another and, two. Yeah. Griswold. I am going to spend the might with Zagdush. I think that Griswold. Oh, he's only got he's only got one left after this. No, I'll save fun. it. It's just yeah. a shitty blacksmith. Why would I spend it? What's he gonna do? Uh, just back Hit away. You. He's got his hammer. He's gonna bash him. He'll bash. Bash. He'll bash him. Nah. No, no luck. Doesn't knock him over. Gandalf, the big one on this flank. I've got Goroth. I, my fight value increases by three. Oh, Gandalf's in trouble. Got to win the fight, though. I still got to win the fight. Uh, did you pick off my spear support? No. No. So it is Goroth and friend finding Gandalf on the charge and friend. So you've got the dice advantage and a banner. You've used... Two might? Uh, yes. I've used two might. So I've got one left. So if I've I can. Got one in the bank. So you want me to roll fours, basically? Yeah. And I've. Whoa, Goroth, you. Can't. I wanted you to roll fours, but you just roll three ones instead. Yeah. So. Uh, Let's do the warrior. Yep. Big one. And that'll do it. Well, I could I could mite it. So. I'm gonna banner with the warrior. <laughs> 
And now you're out of my reach. So Gandalf will just not even duel. What a wasted opportunity to slice up Gandalf there. Goroth's a hard hitter too. Three attacks on the charge goes to six on the prone. He's strength five with Glamdering. I'm defense six. So you're looking for fives to wound with Papa three, White. Three of them will do it. Two will put you on the back foot pretty hard. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, two. Oh, two. ouch. All right, let's check out that fate point. He saved. Good, but the warrior. The warrior. If the warrior gets a six. Oh, there's a five. Oh, that was a bit mates. close. No. Oh, no. Okay, Gorot's in the game. I'm in the game. I'm on my ass. He is so key to this flank. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. A couple more have died on this flank, and the final combat is going to be captain on captain action, uh, because everyone else is engaged. I'm on fives this time. Captain. Oh, Captain Chris. I've got no might, because I burned them. All yours. Chris. All right, so your defense six. I'm strength four. Five still. I'm going to need you on fives here. Getting it done, Chris. Oh. And the spear. No. Nah. Oh. That, that's, that's still good, I'll take that. Clubby the Troll. He has charged in. Shield for my life. Three attacks for Clubby the Troll. Oh, goodness me, what are my big heroes doing? You got, Not a, you got an orc in there. A lot. Oh, I've got an orc. I like orcs. You oh. all get, that's a fight value. Fight value, Fight man. value of the troll. The troll you. says crunch. Just kill him. Just kill him. Boom, he's out of there. Let's just get rid of that guy so it yep. clears up our reinforce and pull. And that is turn number two. Things are already spicy here in Minas Tirith. Let's do priority, Ryan. Big six, I and it swings to yeah. Mordor. Two turns in, and Gondor have set up a strong position. But with the troll on the battlefield, Mordor certainly have some hitting power behind the central line. And against an unending stream of orcs, the Gondorian southern flank will only last so long. If Goroth and the troll can tie up the middle, the men of Minas Tirith will find themselves encircled. To make matters worse, as Gondor destroys siege towers for their objective, they actually increase the chance of orcs spawning deeper behind their lines, as more orcs sneak through the city streets eager to pillage Minas Tirith. All right, so one heroic move off, which was important, so I can start moving up this street and into the second level. Um, but I did fail to immobilize the troll, which is now doing a little bit of a sneaky movement up a side alley here. Yeah, he wants to go get in under Eric's beautiful crafting guild and come behind and crunch some skulls. Uh, we've got some damage done. Over here, I'm surging forwards and uh, almost time to forfeit this flank, I reckon, Ryan. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a solid flank, but I've just been overwhelmed. Yeah. And it's... I think the shoot, the lackluster shooting has really contributed to that. Yeah, speaking of, it's about time oh, we yeah, issued some bloody bows. Let's see if these archers can actually do something this time. Let's see if we've got any hits. And we've got one. All right. And it's nothing. No wounds there. You've still got your little battery here at the battlement. That'll do it. Um, one hit. Force to wound, I think. Oh, no. But there's still one important thing to shoot this turn, and it is, of course, the trebuchet. Ryan's trebuchet has not been performing. Till now. Till now! Oh. If I can get a five or six, I can take out a whole siege chest straight away. That's true. You need D3 wounds, and they're three wounds apiece. No, just the one. one. <laughs> just the one. Few more hits required. So the both towers are still up, which means both spawn points are still up. So it is time to dive into the combat phase. We've got a lot of engagements here. We'll start with our hero. Zagdush has run off with the troll, so there's nothing from him. Imrahil's in the middle. Gam Gandalf's in there. Goroth's in there. Uh, where do you want to start, Ryan? Any Let's heroics? Just get rid of this fella. I don't have any heroics. No. Yeah, I'm just no. going to fight normally for now as well. This guy is absolutely rinsed. I've got just just a whole handful of dice. There's one. Big three. The it, three will do it. It was enough. I don't even need the rest. Yes! <laughs> there he goes. There we go. The broadsword blacksmith belongs to the forces of Mordor. Uh, and now Goroth is sitting pretty and he's got friends and the blacksmith himself is going to soon follow his uh, his beautiful dwelling, I think, because he is absolutely surrounded. Oh, and and one doesn't help. Yep. All right, chop him up. Goroth is strong. Uh, no, he's not friends. enough. Yeah. Oh, but his warrior friends do the job. The blacksmith finally falls. Oh. No, I've got a spear support. I'm on twos. Got a high five. Tied. But you're in range of Imrahil, so bannering up for you. 
No. Oh, you're gonna go to the 50-50? 50-50 is better than one in six. Sure it is. So let's let's let you roll a one. It goes to me and eviscerated. The big Zorbazorp six, now available from Zorbazorp.com. Those beautiful blood red swirl, they're doing well for me today. Another one on one, and then it's into Imrahil. Yours this time, my banner's way out. Oi! Ooh. One for the good guys. And now Imra Hill is gonna say chop chop chop. Oh yeah, one off. Imra Hill. Brave. I'll he gets take, it. Yeah, there he we gets go. on the sixes. Five up. This could still not happen. Oh no, two sixes. Oh yeah, it. he rinses him. Rip him out of there. We've got captain on captain and orc on man. Uh, we'll start with my guys up on the elevator positions. They are striking down onto what used to be Captain Chris's supporters, but he's isolated now. Uh, we got a one on one. Orc versus man. Goes to me. Oh, banner. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, you Ooh, bannered up and took bannered it. Bannered up and took it. And what do I need? A six. Uh, it's a five, actually, with my nice. defense four orc. Hacked him off the top of the tower. Uh, another one-on-one -on -one down here with the other spearman. <laughs> yep. Ah! Oh. That's what you get, yep. one spearman. Oh, old banner. Oh, actually, yeah. Ah, oh, six. Oh, one banner does six. it. How Slice good. him. How good. And another six. Yep. Take him out of there, this little fellow. Uh, now we have captain on captain, and I've got a spear support, and you do not, as yours has fought. Oh, yeah, correct. Uh, captain and spear. I'm on fire. Captain. Oh, I'll get oh, that up. Oh, I've that. got no might and no banner to speak of. Captain Chris takes it for the second turn in a okay, row. Okay, Chris, this is you. Five up and you get rid of this. Get rid of um, gel. There it is. Oh, there it is. no. The old captain has fallen. Cutting down. Yeah. yeah he is he out of there. He doesn't come back. No, he does not. Well, that was a spicy turn. We need that troll in action for Mordor, I think, and we need to cut our way up this flank. These guys are fast, but the Gondorians are managing a pretty successful rear guard at the moment. Let's do priority, right? Oh, big swing again. We're going to full retreat. We've got priority, and we're going to get caught anyway, but we need to make distance to that um, gateway. So we're not leaving anyone behind. We're all bailing back and um, hoping to cut off these little avenues here, here and here as we do, because that's where the orcs are actually going to outmaneuver us. Um, quite easily. Yeah, there's so many little Gondorian alleyways, aren't there? We've got these different choke points as Ryan starts to move his models. There's two either side of the beautiful MS Paints uh, Lamprite Masters Crafting Hall, and then we've got another two essential choke points around the Crafting Guild itself, as well as the main street. So there's essentially five little fronts, but if Ryan manages to pull back far enough, he only has to hold a three-way T-junction. Uh, which is uh, much easier uh, from a defensive point of view. Uh, he's got his central Gondorian forces here to pull back. Imrahil, Gandalf, the main body. And let's see how many of his other flanks he can save as well. As Gondor are forced to circle the wagons, retreating both their north and south flanks to fall in line with the retreat of the center, they open themselves up to a huge counter charge. The injured Gondorians are hampered, but the furious orcs enraged by bloodlust move an additional three inches every single move phase, allowing them to surge forwards into the gaps the retreating good line creates. With only 16 models in their central column, the three men on the north and 12 men to the south are vital to scoring 18 models behind the gatehouse. They are absolutely going to pay for this turn's withdrawal in blood, but with a possible 31 scoring model still on the board, they can afford to suffer some losses for the good of the cause. So this is, this is the turn, I think, Ryan. This is sort of our big clincher. Ryan's made a really successful withdrawal. I've re-engaged, but if I don't manage to kind of take the initiative here and pin him in place, he's gonna start getting back to that gate. He's got that flank really nicely pulling back, sacrificed a few models, but his model count is still really high, so it's a good chance of scoring. My big play here is Clubby the Troll and Zagdush up the back, uh, as well as hopefully getting some progress in pinning them in the center. Either way, it's shooting time again. Let's see if your bows can do anything this time, Ryan. You've got a whole bunch of them, and there's a lot of targets pulling in this courtyard down below. Uh, you ready to open fire? Let's do it. Looking for fives. I can see one, two, two. two. I'll take two. That's better than ever. Yes. Yeah, that's um, a new fives. Come on. And oh, no. nothing piercing the armor. All your bowmen there have withdrawn full except for you got three at the back who were there. Oh, they the... move full, but oh. there's those three on, on oh, the there building. We go. Yep. Three more go. up the top of the beard. One hit. One hit. 
One hey, kill. There we go. We rip out a spearman, slowly thinning the horde, and he'll be reinforcing. Uh, and then we've got uh, Damrod and his friends. Are they going to shoot down into some spear support? I'll have a go. Yeah, and you know, maybe into the banner. Two fine hits, and oh, he's nice. down, but he'll pass it off, of yep. course. Down goes one. Banner still in play, which is key for my center. And of course, as we sprint around, our beautiful. Let's see if we can do it. Miss again! Miss again! Far out! So we've got one wounded with a single wound and still two towers in play uh, which is uh, hurting Ryan's objectives. Uh, let's jump into the combat phase. There's no heroics, it's just a huge mosh pit. Let's start on this flank I reckon Ryan. We'll do the key plays over here. Uh, we've got Captain on one orc, your beautiful Chris Captain has executed a pretty successful withdrawal and is now fighting two by himself. I got a five. And I do too. You win on fine value. Take Let's it away. Chop one down. Come on, Chris. You've been pretty reliable, mate. There you go. Yeah, very nice. Reliable, Chris. He's my good middle order batsman, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Solid average. Yeah. Occasionally chips in with a few wickets. We'll start with Goroth finding some noblemen. Oh, I might shield here. Goroth is going strong. Has he got any friends? He does. He's got a He's spear got support. Two, two Can friends. Need it. Yes. He's got one behind him and one. Oh, and one with this. Yeah, uh... I'm going to have to um, ban him my way to a six if I can. I can't, so. Over you. Yeah. Farewell, Gondorian nobleman. That's a big win. We mm. need those numbers out of the center body. That's a victory point. It Every is. Every death is a victory it point. It is. Moving along the line, we've got a one on one. No one's managed any spears there because I had to put my spears on Imra Hill, so it's just one for me. Oh, Three, I'll I, take oh, it. I'm in my banner, finally. A banner in the center line. It's my banner. A difference. No, it doesn't. Hey. Yours is a good banner. And hey. it is very good. Big kill. That is that one there next to Imra Hill. That is a vicious Another little moment. Point. Imra Hill finding two. I'm stabbing. I'm going in hard. Oh, uh, not hard enough. Yeah. Banner your way to it. No, you can't. He is fierce. Look at him. Chop one in half. There we go. A four will do it on that. Rip oh, no it armor. out. No armor, no oh, shield. Sorry, no armor, no, sh no shield as well. He man. is out of there. And then there is two on one. My favor out on the flank. Uh, I'm on sixes. I've got to have to shield. Yep. And I'm going to have to banner. And I'm going to have to side. hopefully not get a five up. Oh, missed it with one. Oh, he survives. He just backs away up there, Happy. backing towards the stairwell of Eric's beautiful crafting guild. We saved the excitement to last, which is a sexy, heroic oh, combat. Gross. We should have done that at the start, but... That's Gotta leave the excitement until the end. We'll just move the little uh, Lamprite's warehouse here and get in our beautiful little dice box because there is some spicy combat happening here. Oh, it sure is. Oh yeah, I've got uh, Zagdush and my troll That's chieftain. Six big old attacks. Uh, fight. There's my troll. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Uh, I'm just gonna pound him into the ground. Crunch. Yeah, down he goes. All right, Zagdush is going to fly up into the uh, beautiful knight up the back. Yep. And the troll is going to run in. And just gank him. And yep. wrap as high as possible. Uh, let's continue that fight. Troll's going to keep on climbing. I've stolen Gondor dice by accident. Oh my god, they're so good. That's why you can't use the Gondor they're dice. They're so good. Uh, and uh, your friend ain't going to be able to do much against that. Wounds. For the record, I just like yeeted the top of this building and all of the models in it all the way across the battlefield and not a single chip of paint, ladies and gentlemen. Not even Dam Damrod's sword is bent or unpointy. Oh man, that was uh, a vicious <laughs> dice roll. So the troll managed to kill his victim. And then we've got Zagdush charging forward on a single Gondorian nobleman. Six will do it. Gets the six. And there eviscerates him. That was a good play over there. Yeah, we are coming in hard on this side of the battlefield. Last fight on this flank is the Gondorian Bannerman, who's pretty surrounded and fighting, I think, two. One from behind and one from up above, down from the crate. Uh, so I've got sixes. Can't win that. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, minus one with the banner. Well, oh, that again would be pretty good. There it is! Gondorian Banagon, and we are making big inroads on this flank as well. 
So Gondor are holding the center, but Mordor is coming strong on the right and the left flanks. The pincer movement is happening. We just need to get in behind. Priority is going to be absolutely massive. Come on down, big six. We are pinning that front rank in and taking the charge to the men of the White City. Losing eight models over the last turn has created a huge swing back to Mordor, and with too few might points to risk calling a heroic move this turn, Gondor's front line is pinned, and Imrahil and Gandalf are engaged, so no spells to blast their way out of trouble. Clubby the Troll pushes deep behind enemy lines, threatening the rear of the Gondorian center, and on the southern flanks, orcs surge through the gaps in the formation, pinning Captain Chris and running down the alleyway between Raquel's Emporium and Dave's master Lamprite's workshop. In response, the Gondorian second rank of the center established a new shield wall to hold the northern alleyway past Eric's crafting guild, but Clubby is looming down upon them. Gondor are in trouble. The orcs are pouring up on the flanks, up through the center. Gondor are beleaguered. It is shooting phase time, and the only thing that really matters at this point is our beautiful trebuchet. Oh, are you gonna get a hit? Are you gonna get a hit? Hey, a hit! A fine hit. So this guy has taken a single wound, uh, and it's D3 wounds from the trebuchet. You've got to try and get one of these kills, right? Oh, just another single wound! A single wound. <laughs> All right, he's got one wound remaining, and that could be tough for Gondor to get that objective now. There's still hope, and now it is fighting time. Two combats and a strike are going to go off. So Imrahil's going to go first with his combat. Um, so he's fighting one dude. Oh, all fives. I've just got the one, and I'm on fours. Goes off for Imrahil. He's finding just that single Moran and Orc there in the middle. You can get rid of him. Yeah, twice. yeah, yeah. That's he, good. He That's, ain't fighting him no more. That's good. That's a good um, start. Now, where does he move? I'm thinking well, I want to kill Banner and also trap that guy that's fighting Baragond. Yeah, beautiful. All right. So well, Baragond goes next. He's he got another. Be. So this is Baragond's only point of might. And he is dropping in for a heroic combat himself. Fire it through. He's finding a single orc. He's got the banner support. I'm on fours. He yes. goes to the gond. All right, let's get a fight. This will be a bit contentious because I may not get it. He is trapped though because of oh, Imrahil's move. Good. Oh, didn't even need it. Rip him out of there, Ryan. Hey. All right, so now you've got the strike on Gandalf uh, and uh, and fighting as normal. Where's Baragon going to run in? I think. Help out of... Gandalf or pick off Goroth? Well, if I go on Goroth, Gandalf will just fight the one orc. So Very maybe nice. it's actually better if he goes around and fights him. Nice. That keeps Gandalf's strike useful. Yeah. So, priority, and I'm finally going to put it to use by putting Imrahil's combat last to keep my banner around. Let's let's do Baragond. Baragond's finding just the one orc. Let's see if I can get this cheeky son of Gondor out of here. Yes, that's banner. what I want. And that's not what I want. I've got one though. Oh, but Baragon's got the fight value anyway. Yeah. All right, four up. Slice him four. and dice him. Not quite. Not quite. Pushing him back. These kills are so important for me. I'm gonna go Goroth with a spear support. Uh, Goroth's two dice into Gandalf. I'm on sixes. I need the six here. Uh, Gandalf's got, got, the, got six, the six, and with a strike, he will go up to fight six, winning the combat. Even though we would have been tied yeah. on fight value. And I've got how many wounds, Ryan? One. One left. One left. Glundring. Goroth is still in the game, somehow. I will do the orc up the back there. It's two orcs on one warrior of Gondor. He survived last turn. This turn, he's going down. Survive, maybe surviving. Banner my way to survival. So will I. Oh, oh it's, it's still a draw. double time. It's a big old draw. All right, I'll, I'll roll it off. Hey. To you. Get a five up with two dice. Two dice. Come on, we want that flank. We want that kill. Oh, oh not he's today. Still there. He backs away towards his beautiful uh, Bannerman there. And then we've got one fight left here, which is Imrahil versus the Banner. Uh, the Banner does have someone in base contact, so I'm pretty safe either way. I get a five with the minus one. Sixes. Yeah, Imrahil. Imra. Hell yeah. Don't oh. kill him. Good oh. manage. Banner. This Banner is bloody tough, I tell you. He's been around. He's been around. Uh, I've got my beautiful troll up the back there, but there's no combats. Everyone's just out of engagement range. It's just this flank to finish off. Uh, we've had a couple of one-on-ones. We've got some one-on-ones with Bowman uh, and some two-on-ones up the back. So we'll jump in there first. Two-on-one to the left flank of the captain. Uh, I've got threes. And a one. Uh, your Banner is dead. And you pay the price for it. 
Uh, this little swordsman opens up the alleyway to get through and get into the back line. And then uh, we've got another one on one with the archers. Goes to you. Oh, you're returning a kill, thinning the line, thinning the line. Uh, and then the big captain fighting two. And I've got a two hander as well. So my two hander is at two. And hopefully, my, my warrior is at infinity. Uh, we'll say that he rolled a thousand, only beating fours. Yeah, I'll do a reroll on that. Hey, goes to the captain. Captain Chris uh, doesn't get the kill. Captain Chris is still holding this flank unbelievably. Let's do priority. I'm on fives. And a big five swings it to the forces of Gondor. Not managing to get the kill in combat on Goroth last turn, so you're going in, Vicious? Yeah, blast. Just blast him off. Resist to six. Yeah, uh, I've only got the one will point left, yeah, I think, yeah, from my su successful it. resist. Nothing no there. He goes d6 inches back. Straight into the man behind him. Crunch. Um, five up. Uh, yeah. No. No wounds on Zagdush. He takes another strength three for hitting the next model. Nothing there. And the guy behind him is nothing. He's okay but he's knocked down, which hurts his movement massively. And then Gandalf can just make a deploy to the rear of the line. An absolutely crucial priority swing with no might on the evil side allows Gandalf to blast Goroth in the face and coordinate a full retreat on all fronts. The central shield wall relinks with the second rank who prepare for a charge by the troll but are strengthened by the prince himself. Ga Captain Chris's stalwart defense has paid off and he and his fellows manage to cut their way back to the top of the stairwell, finally reforming their line and are able to get that much closer to the gateway. Mordor surge forwards, charging Chris's shield wall, Baragon's front line, and pushing into the northern flank, but Clubby the Troll's large base can't make it past the valiant guards of the Fountain Court, selflessly shielding the prince from harm. He'll have to cause some monster mayhem in the fight phase to threaten the Gondor commanders. This is shaping up for one final bloodbath before the gatehouse. So the Orcs have poured in against the rallying Gondor defenders. We've got Clubier on the right. He's ready, set up for a nice barge. Uh, Gandalf's not in combat. Imrahil's not in combat. But there's a couple of uh, a couple of uh, guardians of the Fountain Court doing their work there, Ryan. I've got two, two guys. I'm going to pierce. I'm on big fours. Got a shield. Shield it up. Oh, blocking it up How with the good. White City Six. How good. Uh, and then we've got another man of Gondor fighting. Uh, just the one. I'm going to stab. I'm a spearman. Shield again here. I'm gonna banner it up. To Ooh, a draw. Uh, it's tight. It's my priority, yep. so get a four up. And we're good. Oh, yes, yeah, slice him away. Oh, you shielded, didn't you? So yes. that is nicely defended. That is the orcs push back off there. And then, of course, we have Clubby the Troll. He is going to. I'm gonna do a big barge into Imrahil. So I've got three. Three D6 uh, on the charge there. Oh, big sixes. I get the fight value. So barging, barging D6 inches for Clubby the Troll. Oh. Big Zorpa Zorp 6. In he goes on Imrahil. I've got the fight value now because Imrahil didn't strike. He didn't have any might. Let's go straight into that combat. I've got three attacks on the charge. Oh, I'm only five high. Might shield up here. Yeah. Why not? Why not? And, and the six will do it. Imrahil pushes me back. Big Gondor six. No dice for Clubby today. Last couple of fights of the turn are, of course, my orcs chasing Captain Chris and his cohort up the alleyway. Uh, we'll start with the warrior on the left. I've got one piercing, striking Moranin against one. Oy. It's all Gondor. All right, let's get the six, get through that heavy armor and shield. No, no, no luck doesn't there. matter though, doesn't matter. I'm up against a bowman here, so D5. I'm uh, chasing the softer target, big fours. Oh, fives to wound. Oh, I need these kills. Come. Captain Chris is fighting two. I've got the spear support in there. As excited as I am to rack up yet more kills for Chris, Captain Chris doing really well. I'm actually going to play the safe game, the correct game, the objective game, and, and run the shielding. Yeah, shielding it up. plan for Chris next turn. And he's a six. Oh, no, actually a five. Sorry. Uh, title I'm, fives. I'm fight. Yeah, yeah, you've got the five value with the captain profile. So that is the orcs backed off for this turn. Captain Chris has held the alleyway beautifully. Imrahil and Gandalf in a solar position in the center. This is a big priority, Rhino. Big twos. Oh, Ooh, that's big the one. Gondor six. That's the one. And what's your big play here, Ryan? You still got a point of might with Captain Chris. I'm sorry to do this to you, but the objectives, the objectives, the objective. Captain Chris is calling March straight up. He's Heroic the only Heroic March, absolutely clutch. That is going to be a beautiful withdrawal for the alleyway, and then Gandalf and the rest of the forces can well pull back through the doorway. Hold it! For the second level! 
With a clatter of hooves and the heavy thuds of plate-mailed feet, the White Rider and the Lord of Gondor sprint through the White City, gathering all they can to the inner levels. Behind them, the clamour of battle echoes up through the burning streets, but the vicious growls of trolls and swooping Nazgul are suddenly lost as another sound rolls in across the fields of the Pelennor. Gondor do not stand alone. The Horse Lords of Rohan have come. Yet another victory for Ryan's Gondor makes it three from three in the Minas Tirith in Flames campaign. Make sure you check out the first two games if you haven't seen them already. And strap in, boys and girls, because next fortnight, Loki gets to swap teams and command his beloved Horse Lords as the Rohirrim make the greatest cavalry charge in cinematic history. A huge thank you to so many amazing people supporting this project. The incredible YouTubers from the Fellowship of the Zorp, all of their build videos are linked down in the playlist in the description. The amazing gel rombouts from the Gorilla Painting Service, Chris from the Swords and Brushes YouTube channel, and of course our very own Ryan Trays from Battlecraft Hobbies, who painted up all the amazing forces you've seen here today. To get some sexy close-ups, I've linked their Instagrams and channels down below as well. A big hug to Graham Hughes for the lovely Gandalf on Shadowfax. Don't don't worry, Dirk, your time is coming. Andy Marchant for the two amazing scratch-built siege towers. Jacob from Conquest Creations. Nathan Shuttleworth, James Gaywood, and Jack Norman for printing our horde of FDM siege towers. Links to that STL are down in the description too. And of course, last but absolute opposite of least, my amazing Patreons. And all of this is possible. If you want more Minas Tirith, more battle reports, and more Zorpa Zorp, please go and check out my Patreon linked below. It is a phenomenal way to support the channel. Or if sexy threads are more your style, check out our merch store below, including the super sexy White City range designed by the amazing Bo Preston, whose incredible art is all linked below. If you're still watching, I love you. That was more thank yous than an Oscar speech. You guys are the best community, and I really, really hope you enjoyed it because Ryan and I had an absolute blast making that video for you. See you in two weeks' time, Zorbtrons, and let the White City burn!